Hey folks, how you doing? The Moe's here. It's a beautiful, beautiful late February day and doing a little walk out in the woods and came across Cojuntas. Cojuntas. The stick that hurts. The Native Americans knew about poison ivy and they knew it not only when it was out in leaf and we got to remember three leaves, let it be. And they also knew that poison ivy in the fall had a white berry. Now over 60 species of birds eat that white berry, doesn't bother them at all. As a matter of fact, in the fall, the leaves of the plant turn a brilliant red. And what that is is a dinner bell for the deer to come in and eat it. And the deer aren't bothered by poison ivy. But as we know, a lot of people are bothered by poison ivy. We might know it during the summer with the three leaves and in the fall with the white berries and the brilliant leaves, but often we don't know it in the winter until today. This plant right here, poison ivy loves to grow as a vine along the ground. But as soon as it finds something that it can climb and get closer to the sun where the energy, that power comes from to create food that it needs to live, as soon as it is able to find something to climb, it starts. And it starts climbing up and it reaches its branches out in order to grab the sun. We can tell poison ivy when it's not in bloom Number one, it is a vine. Number two, if it's a vine crawling up a tree, it's hairy. So if we remember this, leaves of three, let it be. Berries white, flee in fright. And if the stem is hairy, it's mighty, mighty scary. That's a good way to remember it. Now, if you cut firewood or burn firewood or have campfire wood, Never ever cut a tree that has poison ivy on it because if you go ahead and put that log with the poison ivy in your fire, the volatile chemical, your saw, will be vaporized. And if you breathe the slightest hint of smoke into your lungs, you're breathing in that irritant. And just getting poison ivy on the skin has never killed anyone. But there have been numerous, numerous cases of poison ivy that has been inhaled through smoke that have killed people. So next time you are thinking about cutting wood or putting wood on a fire, if it has a stem that is hairy, it's mighty scary, and you need to pick another species, another tree, in order to enjoy your fire. Folks, if you enjoyed this short segment about poison ivy, or as the natives called it, cojuntas, the stick that hurts, if you enjoyed that, you're going to enjoy a lot more of my future videos on Moe's Nose Nature on YouTube. Sign up for my subscription. It's free. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button. You'll get a free subscription and each time we do a new additional outdoor item you'll be one of the first ones to know about it if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up tell your friends the more the merrier because my goal is to teach as many people as possible about the great outdoors and the gifts that God has given us and the interconnections that God intertwined in order to make these plants and life successful and enjoyable for us. Have a great day and may you and your family be blessed.